close your eyes, take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and stay right there with the breathing. Any thoughts that go wandering off, you don't have to go wandering off after them. You stay right here. You're going to establish yourself in this place, and you're going to stay right here in this place. Tune in to the breath right here. It's there all the time. It's just that we tune into other things. It's more, mind is like a radio. You turn into this station, you tune into that station. And for the most part, we tune into just junk stations. Here's a time to tune into a station that's got something really useful and really helpful. The breath coming in and going out reminds you to stay grounded right here. So you can watch what your mind is doing. If you're spending too much time listening to the news outside, you don't see the news inside here. What kind of choices you're making right now, what kind of attitudes there are in the mind, what shape your body is in right now. These are things you've got to keep tabs on because they have a huge influence on your life. So tune in right here, and you're going to hear, hear things and learn things that are really useful. You can call this the Buddha's channel. Tune into the Buddha's channel and what's going on. Well, he says, watch out for your intentions and watch out for the results of your intentions. You've got to learn from these things. Now, sometimes we know an intention is bad, and yet we can't help ourselves. I was looking this morning at a video of little kids who are offered a marshmallow. and They say, if you stay here and don't eat the marshmallow when I come back, you'll have two marshmallows. And of course, some of the kids sit there, and they stick the marshmallow in their mouth, and they take it out. There was one little girl who, even before the woman had left, she already had the marshmallow in her mouth. That's the way most of us are. But you've got to realize that there's some things in life that you like that are going to, have, that are going to cause trouble down the line. And this is what the Buddha's channel tells you. Is that there are strategies for learning how to do what you know is right, even though you may not like it to begin with, but you get the results down, down the line, and they're really worth it. As for things you don't like to do but are going to give good results down the line, okay, the, this Buddha's channel gives you strategies for how to talk yourself into doing the things that you know are for your own good. Because we've learned these things many, many times. It's just a question of remembering them and having the strategies and really wanting to put these messages into practice. You can listen to the right channel all day long, but if you're not really with the channel, if you're not really with the program, it just goes right past you. It becomes background noise, background music. And then it doesn't really seep in. So when you're listening to the Buddhist channel, remember, this is for your own real good. True happiness down the line. And there's a sense of well-being that comes right here in the present moment, that when you know that you're doing the right thing, you're on the path. Even before it yields its results, you've seen the results in other people. We have the example of the Ajans, we have the example of the Noble Sangha. This is a good path to follow. These are the people who are worth, worth remembering. All too often, again, our, our history classes teach us other things. We very, learn very little about the people who've really made something good out of their lives. So tune into this channel. This is the channel that gives you the right information for how you're going to find true happiness in life. Tune into your breath. Tune into the state of mind right now. Make sure that it's skillful. And everything else good will follow from that. <laughs>